our team offensively tonight, especially in the first half, was really good. That's the best half offensively that I can remember in a while uh, in our first seven games. I think we had one other where we really, uh, I think we had 12 assists. It was Missouri State in the last game of the tournament. But tonight's first half, 7-14 from three. The thing I love, we really shared the basketball. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we're getting the kill, getting spread out. It's a terrible matchup problem for us uh, playing against a, a very well-coached uh, Texas Southern team. You know, we, we, we found out yesterday that two players joined the team yesterday. This kid, Derek Griffin, Corey had known uh, from when uh, he played AAU, and he's really a good player. And we, we, we made that very clear to our team before the game. This guy's a problem. And it so happened that he was with a double-double. He's practiced twice. So he's had two practices. So you, you look at their team, and, you know, that's a, the same team in terms of three leading scorers that beat Michigan State at Michigan State last year, that beat Kansas State at Kansas State. And you can see how that can happen. Uh, very well coached. They spread you out. But we've got to do a better job staying in front of the basketball. And we've got to do a better job getting back in front of the ball when they're ball screening with Gavin's man. He's having to hold too long, and therefore his guy's getting open, and we're not doing a good enough rotating uh, on those roll-offs. Tonight it was by Griffin. When they went to five-guard lineup, it really became problematic because they were driving, driving, driving us. But I like how we showed some toughness and held on to get the win. Uh, I thought uh, uh, Chicken had a really good second half uh, uh, in all respects, especially on the defensive end of the floor because that's where we're lacking most right now. And he got over the top of those screens better than anybody on our team and back in front of the ball and did the best job on number two. He really competes. Uh, Chicken is a great competitor. Questions? How much improvement do you think the defense has made over these last three games? I think we made a ton of improvement since the Miami game. But we still got, you know, obviously a long way to go. And, uh, you know, we suggested let's try some zone. I mean, it's hard for me to, to go zone. I mean, we zoned yesterday in practice to prepare against the two. We were so bad in our zone that there was no way I was going to go to it. Uh, you know, we're spending all our time working on our man. We do need to spend a little time. And I, I tell you right now, I'm really excited that we get a chance to practice six times, even though I don't expect Friday's practice to be the greatest in the world because they're all going to be in finals and all dealing with brain cramps from studying and staying up all night. But uh, we're taking tomorrow off practice, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then, then we practice after the last finals over Thursday, leave Friday after practice and travel. So that's our upcoming schedule. Questions? Ben, talk about that. Um, I think it was a four-point game. It went from 15 to four, and IJ had three straight possessions where he was a big deal there. He had two baskets and then a, a pass. Yeah, away. They, they started changing defense and went to zone. And I think, you know, our lack of seeing a lot of zone, especially a 1-3-1, one, one, we did not attack it very well. We prepared for it. I mean, we worked on it. But we have a hard time executing unless we're doing it. Uh, more, I and mean, that's one of the things we'll work on. We have a lot of things to get better at here in the, the uh, in between these games coming up, and so we'll spend these first three practices just on us, and then we'll start thinking about UMKC uh, in that fourth practice. But I did, did play well in there uh, during that that stretch and made some drives, some penetrating drives against the zone. One was I think a transition, but our 15-point lead dissipated on a bad shot. We had a 15-point lead and took a horrible shot from three at the top of the key and, not, and, and thinking, okay, we're going to go up 18 instead of understanding, okay, we got them on the ropes here now. Let's grind out a good shot rather than a bad shot. And that fueled their comeback right from there. I, I remember the shot very clearly. What did you like about IJ coming off the bench uh, tonight? Uh, the reason that IJ did not start was because of a violation of team rules. And that's as specific as I'll get. So I don't like IJ coming off the bench. Okay. But that's why he didn't start. What have you seen um, improvement wise with, with Gavin? I know you want to get the ball to him to post more, and it, it's been pretty effective so far. What have you seen from him from day he, one to now? You know what? He's, he's doing a better job uh, at sticking in there with his back to the basket. He's doing a better job. Tonight, again, he has only one turnover and two assists. 
So now he has seven assists in our first seven games. He had nine last year. So he's uh, on his way to, uh, I, I expect him, because he's going to see more double teams, more covering down. He's doing a great job at, at moving the ball and sharing the ball. He's doing a great job at sealing and scoring up strong and scoring. Tonight it gets another double-double. Where we, need, where, where we need his big improvement to take place is on the other end, plugging and getting back and, and being better on those ball screens. He but, like oh, he, he's improved in every way in my mind. Yeah, I'd like to give him the line more too. Three times is not enough. I want him, he should be getting the line six times a game. Question. Looked like Malik seemed comfortable tonight. Seemed like he did. Nice I, I, I thought he, he, you know, he missed his first two shots, but beyond that, his floor game was great. Mm -hmm. He made a great pass on a penetrating jive to IJ for a big three in the first half on the left wing. And IJ, you know, started out slow. He had open shots he was missing. Uh, but uh, I thought Malik's overall performance today was really good. And even though he only scores nine points, I mean, he had three assists, uh, only one turnover, he really was comfortable. I agree with you. And I think part of that is now... You know, after those three weeks sitting out doing nothing it takes a toll, and he's starting to get back into a rhythm now, and uh, I'm excited about it. What was Griffin just sitting out? Like, what was his situation? Uh, he played football. And why didn't he get a scholarship right out of high school? Didn't do well in the SAT is what he told, I think, one of the assistants or something. He's practiced two days. <laughs> he's, he's, he's an athlete. And Corey told me, he said, Coach, he's – He's as good as anybody on the floor, and that was uh, true. Can you comment on the football player you have playing? Yeah, sure. Uh, we're excited to have Elijah out. A great kid. He's already been in practice a little bit. He's coming in the mornings. Uh, we're going to uh, get with him here with uh, our uh, graduate assistants and assistant coaches and start running through our sets. Being a quarterback, our, this will be so simple for him, he'll laugh. He'll learn our offensive playbook in one day is my expectation. He just has to go through it so he knows it. But I like it. He's a screener. He's a competitor. He can shoot it facing up. We need to get him in basketball shape a little bit, meaning the up and down part. But it's great to have him as a part of our team. There was a span in the second half, I think early in the second half, with shot clock violation, shot clock violation, steal block. What were you guys doing well in that? In we that stopped time? him five times in a row, and that's when we built that 15-point mm -hmm. lead. And and uh, they were big then, and they altered that by going small, playing five guards. And we're not going to see many teams in the country that we're going to play against that go five guards. But when they do, it's just not something that you know that our guys are, are used to. It's not that often that happens. We switched all their ball screens one, two, four, and I thought they went really well for us overall. Mm -hmm. And one time Johnny switched in the first half, the guy did a step back side over an outstretched hand. He made a tough shot. Uh, and I'm telling you, that team is good. That team has won their conference, if I'm not mistaken, three years in a row, all of Mike's years. And it'll be them and Southern coming down again this year, those two teams. be interesting. They're good. And, and their RPI was better than ours from last year. They had a higher RPI than our team did a year ago by 100. They were 115, we were 215. And, you know, so they don't play a home game till January. I mean, they took a bus here, and they're taking a nine-hour bus drive back right now. I have unbelievable respect for those kids, that staff, and, and what they do. And, uh, you know, Texas Southern's a team that I'll root for. Was this the best game you've seen Chicken play defensively? I don't. I, I thought it was his best all-around okay. game. We become combining the ball, and I thought he really moved the ball. He's, I, I just feel bad to get that second foul. You know, mm -hmm. and the first foul of the game he got it was someone else's fault on the rotation, so he had to be there for him. He, he and I thought Fred gave us really solid minutes off the bench tonight. He made he made a couple of really nice shots for us in the first half. A three, a drive to the basket, did a good job for us in the second half. You know, I. I, I you know, Q started tonight for the first time in his career, and, and you can see, you know, where he's got to get better is on the defensive end of the floor. He's fine at the offensive end, but defensively he kept getting driven, kept getting beat, uh, you know, and making mistakes. And, and, and in fairness to him, he played four years of zone. This is his first year ever of being focused on being a man-to-man -man defender. Any other questions?
Hey, in his